Without warning, China dropped one of its boldest naval announcements yet, unveiling the capabilities of four major submarine classes during Navy Day 2025. This wasn't random, it was a calculated show of power aimed at reshaping the underwater balance across the Indo-Pacific. From cutting-edge nuclear-powered giants to stealthy diesel-electric hunters, China's undersea forces are evolving fast, and the global impact could be massive. Today, we'll dive into how China got here, the exact submarines they revealed, and what this means for future conflicts beneath the waves. China's rise in submarine warfare didn't start with innovation, it began with dependence. In the early 1950s, China leaned heavily on the Soviet Union under the Sino-Soviet Friendship Treaty. It received designs for Whiskey-class and Romeo-class diesel-electric submarines, foundational but noisy relics of World War II engineering. Using Soviet blueprints, China built the Type 033 class, producing 84 boats between 1962 and 1984. They incorporated some improvements like better sonar and slightly reduced acoustic signatures, but fundamentally remained outdated copies. Determined to break free, China initiated its first homegrown effort with the Type 035 Ming class in the 1970s. While still far from matching Western or Soviet advances, this marked China's first major step towards submarine independence. It showed the world that even amid the chaos of the Cultural Revolution, China's military-industrial machine could still advance a quiet but powerful message. The ambition didn't stop there. In 1958, China began its nuclear power dream, the Zero-9 Project. Despite political turmoil, the Type 091 Han-class submarine surfaced in 1974, a technological triumph given China's isolation at the time. Although noisy and limited compared to American and Soviet designs, the Han class established China as the fifth country with nuclear-powered submarines, an elite club that included only the US, USSR, Britain, and France. By the 1990s, China no longer wanted to merely catch up, it aimed to leap forward. This gave birth to the Type 039 Song class, China's first diesel-electric submarine with a teardrop hull, significantly quieter and more hydrodynamically efficient. Although early variants suffered from noise issues, rapid iterations led to quieter versions like the Type 039G. Meanwhile, China imported Russian Project 636 Kilo class submarines, known for extreme stealth. These imports weren't just stopgaps, they were teachers. The first highlight is the Type 636, China's designation for the Russian improved Kilo class. These diesel-electric submarines are prized for their stealth. NATO famously nicknamed them black holes due to how difficult they are to detect. China imported at least 10 units, split between Project 636 and 636M variants. These boats displace about 3,950 tons when submerged, reach speeds of 20 knots underwater, and can patrol up to 45 days at sea. Equipped with six 533mm torpedo tubes and the ability to launch 3M-54E1 anti-ship cruise missiles, they're regional strike weapons built for sneaky, devastating attacks across contested waters like the South China Sea. Next comes the Type 039 Song class, China's first major indigenous conventional sub. Measuring around 80 meters with a submerged displacement of roughly 4,000 tons, the Song class corrected many of China's early design flaws. They introduced teardrop hulls and modern sonar, and later variants incorporated acoustic coating for better stealth. Capable of reaching 400 meters depth and armed with you, for torpedoes and YJ-82 anti-ship missiles, the Song class gave China a genuine literal warfare tool, one that could lurk near Taiwan or the Philippine Sea and strike with little warning. Turning to the Type 093 Shang class, we see China's aggressive nuclear ambitions materialize. These nuclear attack submarines, first launched in the early 2000s, marked a shift toward blue water operations. The Type 093 has a submerged displacement of up to 8,000 tons and can achieve speeds up to 28 knots. Early models were criticized for noise issues, but the latest 093B variants reportedly feature pumpjet propulsion, a hallmark of advanced Western subs. Finally, the Type 094 Gene class represents China's undersea nuclear deterrent. These ballistic missile submarines carry JL-2 and now JL-3 SL beams with ranges up to 10,000 kilometers, allowing strikes against the U.S. mainland from the safety of the South China Sea.
with a submerged displacement nearing 11,000 tons, speeds of around 30 knots, and a maximum dive depth of about 400 meters. These subs form the backbone of China's nuclear triad. The decision to publicly reveal these submarine capabilities wasn't a mere celebration of engineering. It was a geopolitical chess move. It sends an unmistakable signal to China's rivals that the People's Liberation Army Navy plan has transitioned from a coastal defense force into a true blue water contender, capable of projecting power far beyond its traditional areas of influence. Submarines are, by design, invisible warriors. Their strength lies in uncertainty. Enemies don't know where they are, what they're targeting, or when they might strike. By expanding both its nuclear-powered fleet and advanced diesel-electric force, China has made tracking its underwater movements vastly more complicated for adversaries like the United States, Japan, and Australia. In a region already fraught with maritime tensions, the strategic unpredictability that submarines create is now magnified. Take the Type 094 gene class as an example. Thanks to the JL-3 SLBM, these submarines can target the continental United States without venturing outside regional waters. That fundamentally alters the nuclear balance. No longer must Chinese assets rely solely on vulnerable land-based missile systems. Meanwhile, the growing fleet of Shang-class attack submarines, particularly the quieter 093B variants, means the plan can start escorting its carrier battle groups with credible undersea protection, hunt enemy submarines aggressively and potentially disrupt U.S. freedom of navigation operations far from Chinese shores. The Blue Water shift is no longer aspirational, it's operational. Regionally, the implications are equally massive. In the South China Sea and around Taiwan, China's enhanced submarine presence raises the stakes for any future naval encounter. Diesel-electric subs like the improved Kilos and Song classes, with their low signatures and lethal weaponry, can deny access to key maritime choke points or launch rapid counterattacks against invasion fleets or supply convoys. Yet challenges remain. Compared to U.S. Virginia-class or Seawolf-class submarines, Chinese submarines are still noisier, and their crews have less real-world patrol experience. But the trajectory is clear. Technological gaps are narrowing year by year. The global takeaway? The Indo-Pacific's undersea balance has shifted permanently, and while it might not make daily headlines, the echoes of this shift will be felt in every strategic decision made in Washington, Tokyo, Canberra, and beyond. Silent, unseen, but powerful, China's Navy Day revelations weren't just about showcasing submarines, they were about redrawing the lines of underwater power. With a diverse and rapidly modernizing fleet, China has moved from regional defender to global contender beneath the waves. The strategic impact is enormous, silent deterrence, blue water reach, and heightened risks in an already tense Indo-Pacific. As China's submarines grow quieter, faster, and deadlier, the silent battles of the future will unfold far beneath the ocean's surface, hidden from view but impossible to ignore. The deep sea is no longer safe, and the world has officially been warned. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.